ballerina with the New York City Ballet. The right shoe to me is a pair that will make me feel so beautiful after a day of wearing point shoes all day long on my feet. Um, my feet are hurting, so I want to be comfortable but also very, very beautiful. My best advice for a young ballerina is to have somebody that you aspire to be, to have a role model, someone that you can go and watch and get inspired by. Mine personally is Natalia Makarova. She is a very famous Russian ballerina and every time I do Swan Lake, I watch her video from 1975 and that gets me through it. I feel like I want to be an ambassador for dance because I sort of feel that dancers are not as appreciated as other professional athletes. I think we should be just as respected as that. And if there's some way I can get my face out there and, and show that, then maybe we can get more people to the ballet, to Lincoln Center, to appreciate the arts, and that's how it's gonna keep going. That's how, you know, dance will still be here in 20 years. I have to admit, I love Instagram. I'm kind of obsessed with it. A lot of my followers are young, aspiring ballerinas, and they want to see what their role model is doing, or, you know, that really excites them. So I wanna, give them something to look forward to, to give them a little insight to my world. Not everything, but you know, I think you can use it for good and you can use it to inspire all these young little girls. I mean, five inch heels can be comfortable, but then after about 30 minutes, I start to feel it. So in point shoes, I would have to say I'm a lot more comfortable in point shoes.